Day 1 of Trump's hush money payments trial in Manhattan, New York. The first of our other top story, which is that Donald Trump's hush money trial begins today in New York, and it'll be an unprecedented scene. Never before in American history has a current or former president faced a criminal trial. Yeah, the former president talked about this case to the crowd there in the Lehigh Valley. And I spent some time talking to Trump supporters who came to that rally about what they think about this case, what they think about the other cases, and if a guilty verdict, if that happens, would change anything for them. It's a garbage case that... Former President Donald Trump talking about the case ahead of him in a battleground state campaign rally this weekend. When I walk into that courtroom, I know I will have the love of 200 million Americans behind me. Are you worried at all about what might happen in that trial and what... The, bogus. At the rally in the Lehigh Valley, I talked with supporters who came to see the former president less than 48 hours before he was due in a courtroom as the first former U.S. president to sit as a defendant in a criminal trial. The Democrats set it up. Does that mean you're not worried about it, though? Well, he's probably... The, the, the jury's probably going to find him guilty because they're corrupt and then we'll have to win on appeal, I guess. I don't care if that man's in prison. I'm still voting for him. And breaking news to bring you now, court has just wrapped in the first ever criminal trial of a former president of the United States. Yes, we're talking about Donald Trump. He was in the courtroom there in New York City all throughout the day, six hours, matter of fact, as attorneys began jury selection in the hush money case against him. As you know, Trump is being charged with 34 counts of falsifying documents that he hid those payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels to try and keep her quiet about an alleged affair that they had prior to his 2016 presidential campaign. It marks the first criminal trial of any former U.S. president, the day ending without any jurors being chosen. It's the first of four criminal trials the former president is facing, but the only one that's expected to wrap up before November's presidential election. With more on the jury selection process and the search to find impartial jurors. But first, let's start with Sharon Crowley live outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with the latest on day one of the trial. Sharon. Yeah, it was a very busy day here in Lower Manhattan, the courthouse right behind me as jury selection got underway. Former President Donald Trump front and center inside the courtroom. He is required to be here every day of the proceedings. He talked with reporters a couple of times today, and it was clear from his remarks he would rather be, well, almost anywhere else. Former President Donald Trump's historic criminal trial getting underway inside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Jury selection beginning after Trump and his legal team failed to get a change of venue. Trump believes he cannot get a fair trial in Manhattan because a majority of registered voters here are Democrats. Today is the first time Donald Trump sat as a defendant for the actual start of any criminal trial. We are past indictments, arraignments, all those pretrial motions, and the many, many failed attempts by Trump and his lawyers to delay this judgment day today in New York. He lost those efforts, and this defense table is not where he wanted to be today. But Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg has now achieved results where other prosecutors were thwarted. Bragg taking a campaign year cover-up and charging it as a felony plot. About 500 New Yorkers showed up today as potential jurors in this case. They may not recall the many details of this story that now dates from seven years ago. Most of the courtroom action will be about selecting 12 jurors and six alternates. This day ended with no jurors selected yet. And this first day of the trial immediately dove into evidence about Donald Trump's potential criminal motive. Lawyers clashing over how to reference that infamous Access Hollywood tape, which prosecutors say motivated then-candidate Trump to pay off Stormy Daniels by Election Day. He wanted it done beforehand for a campaign purpose. That's one sign of the many fireworks to come, which could captivate this jury and the nation watching. Half the day was spent going through motions. They didn't even get into the jury selection process until well after lunch. We've got tomorrow. This court does not sit, sit on Wednesdays. So really, you've only got three more days this week to maybe seat some jurors, and we'll see what happens. This is political persecution. This is really an attack on a political opponent. That's all it is. 
Trump is accused of 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to cover up payments to two women, Karen McDougal and porn star Stormy Daniels, who allege they had sexual affairs with him. Trump's former fixer Michael Cohen admits to orchestrating the payouts to silence them ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies any wrongdoing. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. Trump took the opportunity to address the media several times complaining about the judge and prosecutors. Here for a half a day, go to D.C. and go before the United States Supreme Court because he thinks he's superior, I guess, to the Supreme Court. We got a real problem with this judge. We have a real problem with a lot of things having to do with this trial, including the DA, because you go right outside and people are being muffed and killed all day long, and he's sitting here all day with about 10 or 12 prosecutors over nothing, over nothing, over what, over what people say, over what people say shouldn't be a trial. So I just want to thank you very much, but uh, that I can't go to my son's graduation or that I can't go to the United States Supreme Court, that I'm not in Georgia or Florida or North Carolina campaigning like I should be. It's perfect for the radical left Democrats. That's exactly what they want. This is about election interference. That's all it's about. Thank you very much. Hi. What do Americans think about Trump in this trial? Illegal, according to a Maris poll, 51% say he has done something illegal. 27% say he has done something unethical. 20% say he has done nothing wrong. And 2% are not sure. Thanks for watching. If you like it, comment and hit the like and share buttons. Subscribe for future videos.